Hey guys, uh, this is the director's commentary for the box. Uh, it's an actual, actually it's a remake of a video called The Box that we made, I think two years ago. And uh, we just thought, you know, we could probably do better. And I have a whole bunch of new equipment, high definition camera, you know, all this audio gear and everything like that. So I decided um, to redo the story and make it as good as possible and you know add some special effects and stuff just make it a lot better and I'm actually entering it into a contest where the grand prize is twenty five thousand dollars worth of filmmaking gear and um, I'm hoping to win that that would be amazing that would like totally change my YouTube channel everything would look a lot more professional and everything but uh, anyways this is the box the opening sequence hopefully you watched the actual video uh, first without the commentary before watching this because it's, um, you know, would make sense to watch this with just my voice. Um, if you didn't watch the box with headphones or really good speakers, you're missing out on a lot. Um, because there's a lot of bass effects and it just really adds to the whole experience of watching the video. Uh, this part of the video that we shot, we actually had to do it twice. Because Kiam here, the main actor, got his hair cut halfway through production and you know that we had a continuity is one thing we really want to go for when we're uh, making our videos and um, this took about three months to make from start to finish when I was in England a few months back I was in England for three months and the last month that I was there we started uh, you know hey what if uh, you remade the box and made it all good and a lot better than the first two versions there's actually two other versions the first one you guys haven't seen because I never uploaded it but uh, yeah, I, we scripted, planned it for about a month, and then I came back and started filming, and that took about two months, you know, and the editing, I was editing while we were filming and all that good stuff, so it took, this is the longest project I've ever done for my channel, it's only a seven minute long video, or eight minutes, depending on what version you watch. But uh, yeah, this part we shot twice also. If you watch the bloopers, you can actually see the first version that we did with a different actor. We had to redo that because of the haircut, obviously. And the actor wasn't available the day that we were going to refilm it. But yeah, this guy is uh, Jeremy. He hasn't been in any other videos that I've made on Pocket Productions' channel, The Magic Tard. But uh, I, think, I think he did a pretty good job for um, this. He just decided to help that day. And I was like, hey, uh, we need a part to be filled. Do you want to help out? And he was like, sure, why not? So that was pretty cool. And yeah, when we were filming this, it actually started raining. So we had to hurry up and, you know, we were covering. My computer was sitting on top of the car because we had the script on the computer. And it started raining. We had to quickly hide the computer inside the car. And I was like hunched over the camera so it didn't get wet and all that. Uh, this shot right here is actually reversed. You can actually see some backwards letters on the window there, but it made more sense. After I shot it, I realized that it needed to be shot the other way or else it just looked weird. And throughout this whole sequence where he's in the woods, um, there are about three or four different days of filming all combined here. You, if you pay attention, you might actually see some changing in the lighting. Like this shot right here is a completely different day than the shot before it. And um, also another uh, fun fact, is that the box that we used in this video is the same box that we used in the second version two years ago because we shot it in the same location and we went to the location in the woods here in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho and we found the box still there and we were like oh sweet that's awesome it's you know it's been sitting here for two years and it's all dirty and grimy and it just looks great so we decided to use it and that face you just saw in the box is actually my face that's you know my little cameo director's cameo I get to uh, play, but um, yeah, I, I directed this, shot it, rec um, edited it, did all the special effects, produced it. Kim here is the assistant director. He'll have his own commentary that he's going to do, and that will be also an annotation on the original video. You know, it's funny, people sometimes comment on how the blooper reels are longer than um, the actual videos. But if you watch, uh, you know, big Hollywood movies, they only show, like if they have a gag reel and the special features, they only show, I'd, I'd say maybe 
5% of the bloopers, if that, maybe closer to 1% of the bloopers. Bloopers are always going to be, if, if they're all strung together, they're always going to be longer than the actual production video because, you know, they use like one shot out of 20 that they take for the actual final result. To get that effect of the box disappearing, all you have to do is shoot the actor pretending like there's a box there and then get him off the screen and put the box in the scene and then you can use After Effects to mask it out to make it look like it's disappeared. That gun got completely destroyed. It's an airsoft, no it's actually a, it's a CO2 powered BB gun that has the gas blowback so it looks more realistic so uh, a little bit of smoke comes out the barrel. But yeah, we had to bury the gun probably like 20 different times. And all that dirt in there, it just completely ruined it. I cleaned it out one time and then re realized that we're going to have to refilm because Kim got his hair cut. But it, it kind of works now, but it's still pretty messed up. I got another pistol that we can use for different videos. How we did this, uh, we just set up the actor with a hand on the other side of the box and just had him put his hand through it. That might be pretty obvious, but, you know, just in case you didn't know. This is Alex. And uh, he actually went to film school, or not film school, he took uh, acting classes, my bad. Acting classes, not film school. Yeah, so he did a pretty good job also. And this part coming up right here inside the box, we shot in my basement. And to get the look of it being inside the box, uh, all we had to do was take some cardboard and we duct taped it or I duct taped it all to the wall and we went outside and grabbed some uh, trees, uh, tree twigs, some small branches and roots and stuff and just taped that to the box, the pieces of cardboard on the wall. And this is the thing that I like about my camera that I'm using, the Canon 550D. It, gets, it does really good low light. If I used my little handy cam on this, you wouldn't be able to see hardly anything except for the little flame there. So, really happy with how that turned out. And for this shot, uh, we actually filmed this uh, probably two days before I finished editing the box. So you can kind of tell how our schedule is pretty crazy. We shoot and I bring it home and I edit it like the same day. And this has been the box. I hope you guys like it. We worked really hard on it. And I hope to win that contest. They actually extended the deadline for the contest. So I'm thinking that they did that because there's not very many entries, which just makes, you know, my chances at winning that much better. So thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I'm Adam from Pocket Productions and I'll talk to you guys later.